Cleary, uh, happy Thursday to you. Coming to you uh, live here on the Facebook Live. Um, and uh, it's, uh, it's coming to you live as part of a weekly thing that I have where I go live and I talk about uh, something that I do for a living, uh, which is uh, I'm an estate planning lawyer, uh, elder law attorney, probate uh, lawyer, trust administration, and my firm is Legacy Planning Law Group. So I've been doing this series for uh, going on three years now, where every Thursday, most every Thursday, at about this time, four o'clock in the afternoon, I go live and I talk about a different topic that maybe I run across. And, and so uh, we call it our Thirsty Thursday series, sort of a takeoff of you know, Thirsty Thursday, instead of going to the bar, you come here, and if you're thirsting for knowledge, uh, then you come to the right place. Um, so today I'm going to talk about or answer the question, what is an executor? What is an executor? So an executor is the person who's responsible uh, for uh, sort of managing the administration of a deceased person's estate. Actually, the technical term we use for executor these days is called personal representative. If the if there's a will, if the deceased loved one passed away with a will, the executor or personal representative um, is the person who who's appointed by or who actually is named in the will. But if there is no will, the executor is the person that's appointed by the court. Now, in addition to an individual, a financial institution like a bank or a trust company could be the uh, executor as well. Now, executors they're responsible for um, uh, sort of. Uh, ensuring that the deceased person's wishes are carried out and the estate is wrapped up in a sort of an orderly and a timely way. Now, the executor's uh, duties, they're going to include applying for probate, maybe paying taxes and bills, managing the deceased person's uh, property, distributing assets to the estate's beneficiaries, and filing a final accounting uh, with the court. Now, in Florida, an attorney must be involved in most every probate case. It's required by the law where the executor must hire an attorney to handle uh, the process and to represent them. So what an attorney does, you see, the reason why that requirement's there is it, it, it's sort of designed to eliminate mistakes that could be made if somebody tries to uh, handle this themselves, okay? And look, mistakes can be made. And the executor can be personally liable if something goes wrong with the estate or the payment of taxes. So having an attorney can help make sure all the proper steps are taken and deadlines met. And by the way, the amount of time that's involved in being an executor, it varies with the size of the estate, but these duties need to be taken very seriously. And oh, by the way, the executor is entitled to compensation for their trouble, subject to approval of the court. So if you'd like to know a little bit more about what an executor is or maybe how we can help, we'd love to talk to you. So we invite you to uh, schedule a free 15-minute phone call. We call it our discovery phone call. Uh, just go to our website, LegacyPlanningLawGroup.com, and book the, um, the uh, uh, there's a blue button that says book your free phone call. And it's a chance for us to start a conversation. If you've uh, enjoyed, by the way, that phone call is free. If you've enjoyed this video, we'd ask that you uh, like it and better yet share it and also we have a growing library of videos uh, we, we have a YouTube channel legacy planning law group so we invite you to subscribe to our YouTube channel so I plan on giving another talk next Thursday about this same time uh, so um, a different uh, date but again same day of the week um, and so again if you um, are, are thirsting for knowledge this is the place to come and we will quench your thirst so Bill O'Leary Signing off on behalf of everybody here at Team Legacy, go make it a great day and make it a better world.